hello everyone welcome to youtube channel log easy medicine 003 so in this video we are going to see a 55 years old diabetic lady presents to the ORL clinic with severe earache on inspection the ear and face as shown in the pictures you guys can see the picture over here this case study had been already posted in the instagram uh, page actually easy medicine 003 so if you haven't tried please do check it out before watching this video so the questions asked were state three important questions you would like to ask her in history describe the findings on inspection list three examination you would like to perform for this lady what do you expect to see on otoscopy in this patient list three differential diagnosis for this patient what is the most probable diagnosis and then how are you going to manage this patient you guys can see the picture over here which clearly shows something wrong on her ears and eyes so now let's discuss what's uh, i mean let's discuss each questions so the first question was state three important questions you would like to ask her in history well when it comes to history taking it should be in detail nevertheless to make it short we can ask her about the details of earache as that is the main complaint of her followed by the details of any hearing loss and ear discharge as she is a diabetic patient we can ask about her diabetic history as well Done with that, move on to the second question. Describe the findings on inspection. So, from the picture, what are the abnormalities we can see? The ear canal seems to be erythematous and swelling. We can also see purulent discharge from the ear with blood. And importantly, uh, ear parts are missing, particularly tragus and lobules. And for a face, we can see something abnormal over there which is the paralysis of the left hand side of her face the next question was at least three examination you would like to perform for this lady so to diagnose external ear pathology we can perform a general ear examination followed by palpation of mastoid to elicit any tenderness if it is involved mastoid next we can do tuning fork assessment for any for any hearing loss for this patient we suspect she must be having a conductive hearing loss and then the next question was what do you expect to see on otoscopy in this patient so on otoscopy we may see an occluded ear canal along with some purulent discharge and in necrotizing conditions we may see granulation tissue in external ear canal as well so now the fifth question was list three differential diagnosis for this patient so based on history and presentation of this patient the three differential diagnos uh, differential diagnosis could be malignant otitis externa diffuse otitis externa and ramsey and syndrome anyhow we need to construct points for and against to narrow down the provisional diagnosis and for this patient the most probable diagnosis could be malignant otitis externa so the last question was how are you going to manage this patient for the management we shall start from few investigation first as this patient is diabetic we gonna check for blood glucose level to counter the control of it we can order for hba1c focus for the ear condition we can ask for culture and sensitivity of the discharge and ct scan if it is involves bony part or not we can perform a gallium 67 test to diagnose the condition and follow up patient as well for the treatment, we shall start with non-pharmacology first. Just to make sure the healing is better and no recurrent infection, a basic hygiene is needed. For diabetes, we can advise for our lifestyle changes, including diet, exercise, and so on. And for the pharmacology part, a proper diabetic medication and follow-up would, would do. And for ear, basic oral toilet, and IV antibiotic for 4 weeks with gentamicin and ticacillin is needed. We can prescribe ibu ibuprofen to relieve pain and topical agents with corticosteroids to reduce inflammation. In severe cases, we can proceed with surgical deprivation as well. That is all about the case study today. Thank you for watching. If you have any suggestions, do leave it in the comment box. Give some good comments if you find this video is useful and interesting. Do like and subscribe for more videos and do share among your friends. Thank you.